this dish is a really quick cooking pasta supper. I just make it with spaghetti. But it's a dish that you could make with long or short pasta of choice. I've toasted some uh, hazelnuts to put up on top of our dish when it's done for texture and crunch and another layer of nutty goodness flavor. The reason we toast nuts is the same reason we toast seeds, to develop their flavor to the fullest. I started the pan with smoked pancetta. It looks like this. Of course, you can use slab cut bacon from your butcher counter as well. It's about a third of a pound. We've got this to the point where we can cook out the shallots and the garlic and the stems of our greens, red shard in this case. So we let the, ren the fat render from our smoked pancetta or our bacon to give us the drippings to cook in. And I saute the stems a few minutes in the bacon drippings to soften them before we wilt in the greens at the end. And now we can add the garlic. We don't want to add the garlic too early. The garlic will singe and bitter and get hard, okay? Okay, so when we stem greens, uh, I like to call it a cat's paw. You make kind of a cat's paw and you just claw at them like this. Now I find that flat kale, it's too fibrous and it's, it's practically hollow, the stems. But shard stems are delicious. So I chop them up and I saute them first roll them up a bit, and then just run your knife through them into a thin shred so they marry really beautifully like ribbons wrapping all through the pasta and the creamy ricotta. A uh, little salt and pepper on this, more pepper than salt because we're getting salt out of the uh, bacon or smoked pancetta. Give our pasta a little zhuzh over here. And now we're going to add our greens to our stems for our beautiful red shard. Whenever I cook with greens, I always add some lemon, zest, and juice at the end. Freshly grated nutmeg highlights the flavor of both dairy of any kind and anything dark green. And just wilt these into the pan when the pasta is just about ready. This is the exciting part, the marriage of the pasta to the sauce. So we drain our pasta. You get a lovely facial that opens your pores. Fantastic. We put our hot pasta back into the pot. Flame off. Hot starchy cooking water in to help melt our fresh ricotta cheese. Oh, ho, ho. oh but that cheese is so lonely. It wishes it had more of its cheesy friends to hang out with. Let's give him some buddies, like some pecorino and parm. Yeah. Don't tell my mother I used my teeth to do that. <laughs> Rachel, don't use your teeth. Parmigiano is cow's milk, very nutty, buttery cheese. Pecorino is sheep's milk, so very tangy cheese. And I say, why decide which one you love more when they so clearly can hang out together? <laughs> So just this vat of now three cheese pasta, I think everybody would be pretty happy with for dinner. But we are going to add some nutritional value to it with all of our bacon and shallots and garlic and chard. Oh my God, I just, beautiful. Okay, now we're going to add that little splash of lemon juice at the end, brighten everybody up. Oh. I love you. I love you so much. <laughs> what, you don't talk to your pasta? I am strong. Now, I'm gonna top it off with our toasted chopped nuts. What, what, what?